Hey guys, I've the mention here, and welcome back to Let's Play Rings of Power. Uh, now I said I'd go back to uh, Shard, but there's one thing I want to do while I'm here. And I think we're pretty much set here for life. Um, just want to check, make sure there are no guilds or anything. Oh, there is a guild. All of a sudden there's loads of Conjurer guilds, don't know what that's all about. Inferno and Flame as well. Can't afford either, so I'll, I guess I'll have to come back here one day after all. Uh, oh. Better camp a few times, I keep forgetting how uh, quickly your health drains when you're out of food and water. But yeah, um, it's not a big place by any means. Yeah, it's just a Conjurer Guild. We want to go into here, this Desert Fortress. Don't think anyone has info or anything, do they? No. Just one thing you want to do here. It shouldn't take too long. Does this guy say anything? Don't think he does. No. But the main thing you want to grab is this note here, this log, which I'll open after I. Oh yeah, I didn't think that would have anything. Um. Oops. Now that log uh, doesn't actually tell you anything important, but it is actually important in the sense that Mr. Belmont will be interested in that. So at some point we'll go and give it to him. This is the thing he wanted us to find here. And that basically is it. Aside from, obviously, the Conjurer Guild stuff. I still don't know who tells you about the uh, sand being on the corner there, but uh, it's no big deal. So um, I'll wander off back to Shard and meet you there in a moment. Okay, here we are back in Shard. Just need to... Uh, Give this guy some sand, I guess. No, not more tomes. Ow. Oh, I guess it's this guy. I only wondered because he mentioned some guy being upstairs again. Don't know why he didn't appear before, but... Does he... Hmm... Oops. Yeah, nothing. Brilliant. And he gives it to you straight away. Amazing service. So now that we've got that, we can head back to uh, Richie. Which isn't too far, so uh, I'll meet you there in just a moment after I've, I guess, grabbed some food. I probably should do that. See you in a moment. Okay, back at Richie now. Just gotta make this annoying trip upstairs here again. And show this guy the lens. He's going to tell the Queen, uh, so I guess we better head back to the castle. Doesn't feel that like it took that long, but it helps that tomes are so easy to come by in Cathedral. 
otherwise it would have been an ex extra place there. Ok, I'm going to check these rooms. Bet there's nothing in any of them. Got a little, I guess this is some sort of chapel. Um, can never tell what half these places are. I guess this is like a, a what do you call it, an MS hall. And I think I missed a room, didn't I? Oh, maybe not. Must be a different way into there. And Imino has gone for some reason. Yeah, there's nothing here at all. Never mind. It's worth a look. So I talk to Queen Richie here. Uh, ask about the oops, not the city. I should mention the telescope. Ask about the quest, and um, her ancestor had the ring of advancing, and his crypt is below the southeast tower. Um, I don't understand that because, as far as I know, she says t to find a key for it, you have to go to a cathedral and ask about it. For one thing, the guy who knows about the Ring of Advancing there is useless, he doesn't give you any information whatsoever about it, as we saw in one of the earlier parts. And for another thing, it's actually open now. It actually opens after you uh, do that quest for her, so I'm guessing they kind of had a change of heart with this quest, I guess, and didn't change her dialogue, I have no idea. Watch it be locked now that I've said all that. And then I'll have to end the, end the LP forever because I have no idea. Nah, there we go. That door up till now is locked, by the way. As far as I know it was anyway. And that takes you down into this this room. Oh, this room. Oh. Yes, corpse. Just when you thought we were done with those. Uh, we have this floor here. Now, back when I was young, this was, like, the most impossible thing ever. I, I can't believe it now, but... Actually, that's, that wasn't the best way to start it, and I'm going to get... I knew it. One annoying thing here is that they are, in fact, still a high enough level to cast Reaper, as far as I'm aware. But they are in smaller, num smaller numbers, thank you, thankfully. So yeah, main goal for this, you want to turn every one of these tiles green. I honestly do have, n I have no idea how I made such a... found it so difficult back in the day. But it's pretty straightforward. And there's a key there. That key opens that door over there. And the key can only move on blue tiles. Hence why, uh, yeah. At least I think that's the case. There might, I might be wrong. No, no, I'm wrong. Never mind. Just stops the key moving. You get the chase key, I guess that's supposed to be. So, uh, more corpses here. And that one was a lot weaker than the others. I guess they're not all the same level after all. Quite a nice change. Um, technically he heading the wrong direction here, but I know there's something down here that's... yeah. We have a little uh, treasure chamber here. And Buck leveled up at last! I'm starting to wonder if the level ups were broken or something. It's been ages. Um, 
But yeah, there's nothing majorly important in here. It's just your uh, typical hidden treasure cache. Treasure cache. Still can't say that word. Um, this isn't a huge place by any means. I think there might be like two, maybe even one more corpse to fight. And that would be it, I'm guessing. And that's another one down, and... Oh! Oh yeah, no, I, had, I, I lost to that the first time around, and uh guess didn't level up from the corpse the second time around, that's a bit weird. But yeah, up here we have a coffin. And we also have this. Um... I'm not looking forward to this, we have to fight them. And it's not going to be easy by any means, but I do intend to do it on screen, this one. Because it's a bit of a major party versus party fight. So, uh, I'm not going to go straight into it, I'm going to take a break here. So I'll um, see you next time for this. Thank you very much for watching.